Hello! Thank you for coming to this video today, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be going over how to vote in the Cardano network today. We're going to be using the Project Catalyst app. It's going to be a how-to guide. We're also going to be going over how many rewards you can get if you're a moderator and you're watching, watching this video. There are no staple advertisements in this video, and it's because I want to get this information out there. Um, so real quick, we are going to do a watch party, a Gogan watch party. It'll start at 12, 10 p.m. EST tomorrow. I think we're going to get some Afri Africa news, so make sure you guys um, make sure you guys tune into that. I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good time. Uh, we're going to be voting on some proposals in this video. It's going to be a how-to guide. We're going to be going over all the information you need, so let's jump into it. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about today is specifically how to vote, right? So this is a follow-up to the video from yesterday. You had to be registered to vote already. So if you weren't registered to vote, I'm sorry, you will not be voting in this fund. But I can, however, tell you that there's more funds coming in the future, and you'll probably be able to vote within the next couple of months on more proposals. So don't stress about it. This is kind of an experiment, uh, and it was a lot of work to get a part of this. So maybe it's good for you. Um, you know, maybe you didn't have the time. But... Uh, I'm going to be talking about how many rewards you guys are actually going to get for voting at the end of this video. So wait, tune in for that if you want to. But first, we're going to be talking about how to vote. So I'm going to assume that you guys already know how to do this, but I'm going to say it real quick on how to do it. Once you get into the app, you're going to have to click um, the scan your QR code. It might already, already, already be registered. It might not. That's kind of the issue here is um, sometimes the app fails. Sometimes it doesn't. The worst case scenario, you can just delete the app, reinstall it, and then rescan your QR code and then also... Um, retype in that pin. So you need your QR code and your pen. Also, if you have multiple QR codes, all you have to do is delete the app, install it again, do the second QR code. Um, is I'm not going to hide the ADA here. This is obviously just a pledge wallet from Bloom3. Um, so I mean, it's public on the blockchain. So how, how does the voting work, right? So we're going to go ahead and sort by impact score. Remember, impact score is just a, a rating that was given by community advisors, right? So it doesn't really mean if the proposals are going to be good or not. You need to make your own judgment. And the best way to make your own judgment, I would say, is look in the link down below. There's a, a Google Sheet made by Danny from Face Stake Pool. He's an awesome dude. Uh, he made a, a beautiful beautiful layout of, of all of the proposals. Also, the Project Catalyst link will be down below. Um, don't just vote on my proposal. Just really take a look at all these proposals. Decide what you think should get funded and vote on them from that, right? And then the way you can do it is you can also click on it. So for example, Sebastian's proposal, and then look, you can click um, the, right here, this uh, C, C proposal right here. Also, you can just view all these very easy on the desktop on the cardano.idealscale.com. Um, it might be .io. The link for that will be right down below, I promise. Also, that Google Sheet kind of puts them all in order with rating. So let's talk about how the voting actually works, right? It's it's really interesting. It's a it's not what you'd expect. So your voting power power the minimum was eight thousand data. So the lowest you'll see up there is eight thousand. And what you do is so for example, I, I want to see Sebastian get this proposal funded, right? Um, we trust Sebastian. You know he's a good community member. You you can see I already have it upvoted. So we'll uh, go ahead and delete these two right here. And then also, I want to say that you have two weeks to actually vote, right? So um, you can also re-vote, but more on that in a second. But don't you don't have to do this today. It's not like an urgent thing. You have until, um, um, I think it's January 3rd. Uh, I'll look before I end this video and make sure I tell you guys that. So for example, you click on your first proposal here, and then you click check, right? So then it says, okay, uh, one pending vote. Your new vote is not, process, is not processes by the blockchain yet. <laughs> Review and submit your vote by going to my votes. Okay. So we're not going to submit it yet. Don't submit. I think it's better to just submit them all at the same time. So look, we like Sebastian. You know, uh, whatever he's going to do for the community, I believe is good, right? Um, sometimes we don't have the technical knowledge to understand what he's doing. I understand what he's doing, but maybe you don't. So in a way, you have to almost trust the person, right? You build up reputation in the community. He's been here for years, so I trust him. So we'll go back. We'll switch by impact score. And the way the voting works is, is it gives him a check up for your voting power, right? Let's say you have two proposals. Well, it doesn't cut your voting power in half. It doesn't. If you vote yes on two proposals, they get they both get your voting power, right? So we have 1.25 million ADA here that we pledged to the network um, from a pool. And then, so what we do is we upvoted Sebastian. So he gets plus 1.25 million. But if we downvoted him, it would be downvote 1.25 million. So if someone else with 1.25 million upvoted and we downvoted, it would cancel it out. And you can do that on every single proposal. And the way it works is, is you for a proposal to get funded, if there's enough money left, 
there has to be 15% more upvotes than there is downvotes, right? If the money's in the table, and it also the ones that have the most upvotes, the most thumbs up, are the ones that get funded. So let's say my podcast, the Cardano Aura, um, has the most, right? It'll take the money from the funds, the, the amount that I'm requesting, and then whatever's left, it'll go to the second most upvote. And it'll say, okay, does it have 15% over downvote? It does. But it has the most upvotes, 15% over. Okay, we'll take that one out. Now we'll fund that project. So that's how it works, right? And what I would do if I were you is if you have the time um, and you actually know the projects, upvote and downvote as many projects as you can, right? Or, or you know, don't upvote them. You know, you, you only want so many to get funded. So if you upvote too many, then maybe it won't work. So you have to really kind of be meticulous about this, right? So we're just going to go over, go through some of the um, the proposals I like. So we'll go ahead, like I said, we'll upvote Sebastian, and then following that, we'll um, scroll down. So I like I like Lovelace Academy. We'll go ahead and give uh, Lovelace Academy an upvote, and then. Um, and remember, you can do as many projects as you would like, but remember, you shouldn't do all of them, maybe, because because then you your your vote means less in a way, right? So it's you really have to think about in your head. But I hope what I just said understands this. So look, okay, another good one, uh, Kyle Solomon. Um, also, you have to realize where it says requested aid. It's very important. Kyle Solomon is not requesting um, seventy five thousand aid right now. This was taken at 10 cents almost. So it was about 10.5 cents. So he's not requesting 75,000 ADA. He's requesting $7,500 in ADA, right? So you might think, oh, these people are greedy. They're requesting too much money. It is not based on the current price of ADA. It's based on 10 cents. It's very important to keep that in mind, right? So we'll go ahead and give Kyle an upvote. Shout out to Kyle, man. Awesome dude. I'm excited to see what he makes of this. So then we'll scroll down. We'll look for some more proposals. And also, if um, if you're in here and I'm missing your podcast, I'm just doing this for a video, right? So if I miss it, I may still be voting for you like offline. You know, this is just one wallet, one QR code I have. I'm not trying to single anybody out. I'm just trying to make informative content and just do a couple upvotes to show you how this works, right? Um, so, okay. So future development of AdaPools. Of course, you know, AdaPools is awesome. We all use AdaPools every day. Another one that I want to do is Pool Tool. You know, we have to get Pool Tool in here. And then um, let me see if we can find it. Okay, so here's my podcast. Um, so I would really recommend you guys um, checking out my podcast. I would really appreciate it if it's funded. I really enjoy doing it. It's pretty technical, but it's awesome. I learn a lot from it, and I hope you guys do too. Um, I'll have the link to the playlist down below. We've had podcasts with Sebastian. We've had Umed. We've had the guy from Pool Tool, Mike. We've had a lot of awesome people on the podcast, so I would appreciate it if this got funded. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload on that because I want to see my podcast funded. I hope you guys do the same. But if you don't like it, then that's no worries. I completely understand. If you don't like it, go ahead and click downvote, and I won't do it. It, you know, but I really, I really do love doing it. So I hope you guys fund that. I um, mean, it's the Cardano Aura. Also, you can look at the uh, the full proposal. It's Cardano uses Cardano's use and utility podcast. Um, I bring on the people that are bringing value to Cardano. So look, this is the pool tool one I was looking for. So we'll go ahead and do pool tool platform upgrade. All right, so we'll go ahead and upvote that. I love pool tool. I would love to see that worked on more. And I do think that the people that add the most value to this community should be funded. So then, um, all right, so we're going to do some down votes, right? Let's look at some proposals that we don't like. We'll, um, so we'll go to proposal size because you got to think, okay, if they're asking for too much ADA, then they're going to take all of the all of the money in their proposal, right? So let's downvote some of these ones that are too high. So for example, solar power plants development, nothing against this guy, but the whole fund is $250,000. So if he were to get funded, no one else would get funded, right? So I don't agree with that. I would rather give a lot of people that provide value to this community, like some say say some podcasts or say some um, like pool tool, ADA pools. I don't want just one person to get the first fund, right? This is a small fund. It's a test fund. I'm going to go ahead and downvote that, right? So then we'll go look at some of the more top ones. We'll go ahead and sort this by proposal size once again. So then another one right here. So make Ada brand world recognized again. This is almost the whole fund. I'm going to have to go ahead and download vote this one, even without looking at it, just because of the proposal size, nothing against them. Maybe they have a great project that will be here in the future, but still, in my opinion, that's too large, right? So we'll go back and we'll do proposal size once again. And then, um, so yeah, I mean, in my opinion, anyone that's asking over like maybe 700,000 Ada, that's a lot of this first fund. 
You know, I mean, that's like 30 percent of the first fund. I would rather see more people get funded from small amounts than large people. Obviously, that's biased. Obviously, I have a proposal, but that's my opinion. Um, but you guys make your own opinion, vote up or down, depending on that. Um, so let's go see if we can find another one that I don't like in here. Okay, a decentralized multiplayer RPG. I don't like that. You know, I think it's too early for something like that. Uh, we don't really even have Gogan features yet. I mean, I guess the test net's starting, but seriously, um, I don't think it's time for that yet. Right. So that's that's really how it works. So after you do all of that, you can go to this my vote screen right here. And this my vote screen has all of your upvotes and downvotes. So when you're in the upvotes and downvotes page, so we have Sebastian we liked, we have all of these ones that we liked. And they all look good. They all look good. So all we have to do now after we, we have all of this is we can click cast my votes. And then you're gonna go ahead and type in this pen, which I'm gonna move off screen real quick. All right, so now that we're off screen, I can go ahead and type in that pin. Let me make sure you guys can't see that, little slime balls. Okay. Okay, cool. So we come back here, we see votes submitted to the blockchain. Your vote has been sent and is processed by the blockchain. So let's go back. All right, so if we go to my votes. You won't see anything there. So in a way, you're going to have to remember what you voted. You can revote, right? So I'm going to tell you guys this because I think it is important information. If we come back here, and we say, oh, we realize that we don't like a proposal, the one that we already voted for. Let's say we don't like Sebastian's. I'm not going to dislike it and resubmit it, but I'll show you how you would do that if you didn't like it. You come down here, you click the, the red check mark, you go to cast my votes, and then cast it again. And it'll do the latest, right? So if you, um, and then also it doesn't delete your old ones. So if we just dislike Sebastian, it'll still keep the Cardano Aura upvote in there. Does that make sense? So if we dislike Sebastian, it'll make Sebastian a dislike, but keep all of the old history that we have. And then if we want to add something brand new, we can do that exact same thing. So let's find another project that I like. Um, so let's go to Spakra. I like Spakra. Spakra, they recently released a lot, a good guide, and there's a lot of smart people over there. And I personally think the same with Kaizen. Kaizen's an awesome dude. I support his proposal as well. And like I said, this is just a video. These are not all the people that I'm actually voting for or or Boris over Rena. You know, it's another cool project. Um, so, okay, Slot Leader Podcast. We'll go ahead and do that. It's just I can't find the Spakra one. I want to do Spakra. So what we do is we go to My Votes, and look, this is a new one. We go ahead and click Cast My Votes, and then we're going to go ahead and type in this pen again, right? Confirm. So then we come back and then look, our votes submitted to the blockchain. Perfect. So now we added another part with our voting power in there without removing the previous voting power. And we have two weeks to do this. It's until January. So you guys can really take a minute and think about this, you know, but like I said, you maybe would not want to overvote. You don't want to undervote. Really think about what you're doing here. And then maybe if you have like only one wallet with a majority of your ADA in it, Maybe you should write down each proposal that you upvote and you downvote, you know? So, yeah, that's how the voting works. I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, for, to comment down below. Um, if you guys want to check out my proposal, I would really appreciate it. Um, I, I am trying to do that podcast. I have a lot of fun doing it. Um, I have Oh, I have a special idea for one at the end of the year that I'm doing. Um, it, it's in the works, though. Um, but, yeah, let's go on to voter rewards. How much are you actually going to earn from voting? So to close out this video real quick, we're going to be talking about how much ADA you actually earn from voting. And I did the math, the calculations, the calculus, and you earn about 60 cents per eight or 8,000 ADA. So that's not very much. Um, but so the reason this was, I watched the, uh, the Project Catalyst Town Hall, and the reason it's like that is specifically because um, they only thought there was going to be 30 million ADA participating which doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know why they estimated that. I mean, I mean, I probably brought 30 million in from the YouTube channel alone, you know, I mean, probably double that, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we brought in maybe a hundred, you know, I mean, maybe that's a little cocky, but at 30 million seems like a very, very low estimate. So what they're stating is that they, they did the, the low amount of rewards for voters because of the total amount they thought they were going to have. But at 30 million, the rewards would have been pretty good. Um, in my opinion, also, um, the fund is pretty small relative to the amount of ADA in the treasury. There's a lot of ADA in the treasury, and they're only doing 250,000. Whereas if they if they they could do these 250,000s every month for probably 
the next 15 years, even if none was being added, you know, so it's a very small amount in the treasury. It's just a test fund. So that's why the rewards are so low. Whereas if they were doing, let's say $1.5 million, which is still a small, small percentage of the total fund, um, there would have been a lot more ADA to, or to voters. So um, they're definitely looking at this, I can tell. But real quick, before we head out of this video, I want to show you guys this resource that I was talking about from Danny Face Steak Pool, not an advertisement, wink, wink. Um, so we'll go over here, take a look at this. So I showed this in my, my other video, but um, it, it's nice. It shows you total ADA registered right here. Sorry if you guys can't see this. It's a little small. I can't zoom in for some reason. Um, then we go to funding and then the proposals is really cool. This is the proposal tracker. Um, it shows you kind of the ratings, the proposals with the links to the catalyst. It's beautiful. This is a link to the total treasury, right? Which is awesome. Um, and then we have, um, I'll see these are withdrawn proposals. And then this is the useful link page. This useful links page has all of the links that um, you've ever heard of that every link that you would ever need right in here. So yeah, that's the video. If you guys made it to the end, uh, please type in happy Voltaire um, in the comments section down below. I would really appreciate it, but I hope you guys all have um, a good rest of your day. If you have any questions about my podcast or any other proposal, feel free to comment down below. I really would appreciate it if you guys voted for that. Um, this Friday, we're doing a podcast with Liquid, um, the DeFi protocol. There are actually a proposal on here as well. I haven't really learned much about it, but I'm looking forward to. So that's going to be coming on Friday. It's going to be the Cardano War podcast. I've got a special one scheduled at the end of the year. It's going to be a surprise for you guys. But make sure you attend to that watch party tomorrow at 12, 10 p.m. Um, it's going to be some Africa news. So hope to see you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your week. Goodbye.